radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation, of other people. Just watch yourself. Saying people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only chance, and not only mine. You have other subordinates who need help. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor. However, you must keep in mind that alive and mentally sound members of the Alliance are still a threat. I found a way to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Circular, precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Although curious might not be quite the right word. Jasna, uh. <laughs> you all right? Yes, I am. Oh, shit. They're close. At least one. Oh, I don't see anyone. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. <sighs> Found the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. Convoy's heading somewhere. I was there! It's the location with the giant cranes. Right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. Oh! They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Subtle. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. In that ominous tunnel. Of course. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... Whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should... What 
One of the anti-mats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming? Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. The machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. There's also a second anti -mat. It's shooting into the air. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine... Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope, while moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Uh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. <clears throat> I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. <laughs> I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an art tank coming at me. Ah, huh. carrying something. I got out. Well, inside a cave. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Oh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, yes, ma'am. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right. Can you tell me what's in there? Like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. And why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Full 
of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal, then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore.
won't come this time. Yasna, stay calm. Who won't come? No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. successful mission. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? It decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. <laughs> 